Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in a short hike. Now, this was developed by Adam Robinson U, published by Whip Paul Will and is usually available for £6.69 but it's actually just been made available on Xbox Game Pass. So take your money, shove it right up your debit card and purchase Game Pass if you haven't already. So we play as Claire, a bird who ends up going on holiday to Hawk Peak Provincial Park to relax. Although my idea of a relaxing holiday is hot, lots of drinky drink and getting a red lobster tan, but each to their own of course. But yeah, we need to go around doing stuff, you'll see what I mean, the game sort of just drops us in with no hand holding you see. Now as for achievements, whereas you can technically finish the game in like 10 minutes or so, the achievements make it slightly longer. So we basically need to find all feathers, 20 gold and 2 silver, trade every species of fish, we need to eat a piece of toast, which you can only do at around 5pm-ish, uh, do a bunch of mini games and happy days, it's all fun. But either way, depending on your luck with the, the races and the mini games, etc, they're easy enough, but it could take you uh, between 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 hours to complete, so... With that being said then, let's do it. And, as I said, uh, obviously any dialogue we can just smash through with the A button. But yeah, the game sort of just drops us in with, without a tutorial, without natting. We just sort of have to get in and do stuff. It's like you as a kid and someone just dropping you in a swimming pool and going, Right, learn to swim. Although, obviously playing this game kind of makes it less dangerous. Um, you don't end up, you know, drowning in stuff. So, here we are then, we are clear as the birds, so the first thing we're going to be doing then is we're going to start looking for all the money and all the feathers uh, in order to sort of complete the game first. So if we just head down straight on the beach, you're going to find a shell. We will need to uh, get these shells as well in order to um, grab another golden feather later. You can sort of jump and swim on the water, so if we go to the right hand side here on this little island, uh, we can head down and we're going to see a couple of things. Now. In terms of the, sorry, yeah, since we've just been dropped straight in here, so we'll just grab a shell, and there's also a treasure chest here as well, which we'll grab some money. So the camera is kind of, makes this game a little bit strange and a bit, uh, kind of hard to tell where you're going sometimes. You can't just spin the camera all the way around. As we know, we're going to start heading all the way to the sort of left. Um, obviously, it's the A button to jump, and when you get more golden feathers, you'll be able to jump a bit further, etc, etc. I'll get to that when we get to it. So we've just, just, yeah, just jumped onto this beach here. We're going to head to the sort of left-hand side and sort of come down on ourselves. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to jump off the fence onto the umbrella and up the sort of mountain side right there. So, so again, with the camera angles, it can be hard to sometimes tell where you are. But once you've done that, glide in the air by pressing the A button. Grab the shovel right here. And again, we're going to need that in just a little bit. So we can just drop down. What we are going to do now is, <laughs> you should have jumped on the umbrella and we're going to fly to the right hand side, that's what we're going to do. So drop down, sometimes you don't need the stick, I just accidentally picked that up because I am noobus. Uh, but sometimes again, it can be sort of hard to tell, but once you've jumped on the umbrella, we're going to head down. Over the bridge, and we are going to uh, interact with Budweiser Frog right here. I mean, you probably could have just, you know, swam down. That's what it is with this game. If you don't manage to do something that I do, you can just get there by walking or climbing or something. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we're only four minutes in, but it kind of, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on already. <laughs> like I said, since they just jumped us straight into it. So, thank you very much for that. Right. So, we've got the dude shovel. Uh, there it is. You press the Y button or the start button to uh, interact with it and then press the B button. Interact with the uh, chest there to get another bunch of coins. Should be on about 31. You should be able to climb up, and then uh, if you, you press the, go into your uh, main menu, and then press the B button. And that will get your shovel out, or the A button in order to equip it. Then we press the B button, uh, just by the old crack of life, that'll get us some more money, and then we're good to go. Right, so from here then, what we're going to do now, if we have a look at uh, up at the sky for some reason, we're going to jump across and sort of go down on ourselves if you can. Um... And we are just going to grab this next shell. Again, they are important for a golden feather later on. Then we'll go to the right. Sometimes, again, sometimes you may just be able to get on to the top. We need the treasure chest from on there. If you are struggling like me, what you can just do is head up. Go onto the bridge here to the right. 
and it will glide gently down. Ah, lovely. So interact with the treasure chest there to get some more money. That'll get us 59 bucks already, or oh, 59 snents. If only it was that easy. Then we head back to the left. We will interact with Budweiser Frog again. Cheers, bud. I'll uh, get you some Budweiser later. Right, grab, go down and grab the next shell. Should be on four by now. Head past this little climbing rock frame thing. And then what we actually need to do is get up to where the treasure chest is up there. So dig here, get some more money. Um, now, I think you might be able to. I don't know if it's just PC. I don't know if they patched it on Xbox. But on PC, you were able to jump onto the treasure chest, then interact with it, and that'll actually give you a little boost up, which makes it a lot easier. But if not, that's fine. So we're going to uh, just jump across to the right here. Uh, we are not going to be able to get across there. So we will uh, grab that bit of money. Again, you'll just find coins just chilling everywhere. Um, but we are just going to have to walk around. There we go. So we'll take a little walk around and you should be able to now just about climb up there. Job done. So make sure to dig here first in this little fan sa fiery sand pit. That is another chest. And then we can just carefully drop down, grab this next treasure chest, and that should get us on about 120. Again, you may see random coins that you can pick up or if you've just left them, but you should be on roughly the same as me. Um... So what we'll do now is if I stop being douchish and actually follow the path, we can now talk to this guy. So if you just keep uh, pressing the A button, basically you can buy two feathers off him for 40, 40 coins each. So that'll be the first two golden feathers of the day. Yay, golden. So the more golden feathers we get, the more we can fly in the air and the more we can climb rocks. And you'll see exactly what I mean when we get there. But what we'll do is now we're going to jump on the left and jump over. And as you can see, you can just sort of give yourself a little bit of flight when you press the A button. So there's the third golden feather right here. So uh, again, if you manage to fall, just go back and then give yourself a little bit of fly as we fly down towards ourselves, And we'll drop down onto the beach to get another shell. Uh, climb up to the right. What's up, goat? And then if we climb to the right again, you can just see on the beach is another shell. And you can get another penny if you want to make it 41. Uh, jump up and across again. And we will speak to this broski right here. The old dog of... Oh, fact, no, wrong broski. Sorry, we're talking to Raccoon Nuts. And he's going to be like, oh my god, my, my, my painting. I, I need to be blind and gouge my eyes out. Because apparently all painters done that. They either cut off fingers or gouged eyes out. And they were like, oh, I'm such a good painter. Right, climb up onto this rock right here. And then make sure to press the A button. There is a treasure chest here, nicely hidden. And then we can just jump across and go all the way to the right until we are back on the beach with the Budweiser frog. So, yes. So, that's all you got to do then in terms of climbing rocks. You just press the A button and you start climbing. But as you can see, you lose the feathers when you fall back down. Uh, the golden feathers return, but it's kind of like a stamina bar if you if you want to call it that So there's a fourth golden feather there right in the sand castle hell of a sand castle um, It does it is quite easy to get used to but anyway uh, go forward onto the beach is shell number seven and on the bench is some more money jump on the umbrella and jump up and again just jump up onto the rock and as you see as you as you climb in you will lose feathers as well you lose stamina Interact with the treasure chest to get a number, uh, some more coins. And then we will just jump up. Oh my god, where are we? Well, we're out of place. There's another golden feather right in the middle here. So you should already be on five. So five is done. Grab another coin and then continue onwards. We're going to grab another couple of coins. Coinus one us. Speak to raccoon balls right here. And let us continue on our merry way. So we'll start heading up. And then if we go, we can go to the right. So jump up and then we're going to fly our way to the right. There's just another little coin. It's always worth just picking up all these coins. We're going to need them. Then we will, uh, well, we can go up. But if you can see the sort of two trees just chilling just to the right of us there. Uh, that's an actually another dig spot. And that is going to be golden feather number six. 
So grab the sixth of the six golden feathers, and then we're going to make a right. Uh, we're going to make it to the right, and we're going to fly up into this little tower thing right here. So fly, 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 and then hopefully you've made that. Right here is golden feather number seven. And then what we're going to do, now as I said, with it, <laughs> we're going to fly to the right. And we're going to fly and glide to the right to find a birdhouse just sitting on its own, effectively. But of course, the camera angle can make this quite difficult. So just fly to the right, and eventually, the camera's going to start turning around. And then we'll see where the hell we're going. So directly in front of us now should be the house. That's what we need and that's what we're looking for. So hopefully you've made that as well. We'll drop down, grab the chest. Now for this part, uh, there's basically a silver feather right on the top of the peak. But if you can see, when we're starting to climb up, I'm going to show you a couple of fails here, okay? Because uh, it took me about 10 minutes to figure out. But when we start climbing up and sort of jumping at the same time, you lose feathers and stamina quickly, which means you just about can't make it. Um, so even if you just climb, that doesn't work, you lose stamina too quickly, same with if you just continue to try and fly up, like so. So what you need to do is like, take two steps, fly, two steps, fly, so two steps A, two steps A, so just look how I do it here, so two steps A, two steps A, two steps, and then you should just about make it. And that is, again, that part put, took me about 10 to 15 minutes to figure out how to do that. So it can definitely be done with the seven feathers we've got. Once we climb up here, we'll grab our first silver feather. Hooray! And once grabbed it, let's jump off to the left. Give yourself a little uh, a little boost if you want. And we're just going to fly ever so gently, ever so deftly to the left. Continue onwards. Continue leftness. And then what we're actually going to be going for then is uh, is a particular sort of waterfall. So you can see where the painter is right there. So just uh, continue on to the sort of left. And there's a nice mound with a coin on it. Uh, again, sometimes... So there's the waterfall. Um, so you can splash down if you want. Uh, I ended up just missing that, but that's fine. Because obviously we can just climb up it. But that, this is the waterfall then that we were going for. Again, due to the sort of camera angles and everything, can be kind of tricky to tell where you're at. Um, but pick up the shell anyway. That should put you onto eight shells out of 15. We need 15 for the golden feather. Head up again, grab the coin chest, and then we're going to do a little bit of climbing, climbing. Climbing, Simon. Simon, climb your way up. Um, use the path or cheat your way up. It's all good. Uh, collect a couple of coins here if you so wish. Otherwise, we can just head straight for the tough-looking bird right here. We're going to pick up the stick. Now, in the PC version, there was a golden feather on that rock that is just behind us. Um, but they moved that to the boat race, um, which is tied to the Not a Scratch achievement, which we'll go for in just a bit. Otherwise, you should have more than 100. So that'll get us the eighth golden feather right here. And then from here, we can just head to the left. Fly up a little bit, and we're going to speak to El Artisto, David Artiste, David Baptiste. So once he's done yammering, let's head slightly up there, grab uh, some more cash, which of course we're all going to need. Then we can just head straight down, but just be careful, we're going to land on one of the edges for another treasure chest there it is that is just some more money more money then we can just fly to the left and we're going to start dropping down boom there it is but continue on to the left and we're going straight for this little bit of island here now here is what can be only described as a bit of a pain in the ass achievement make sure you've got your stick out of course we would have picked up the stick um there's a stick there if you need it anyway, just by the referee. But basically, all we're doing is pressing the B button to hit the ball. Um, now, this may take a little bit of getting used to, but... So, for the Golden Feather, we need to hit the ball ten times. Not you by yourself, the both of you need to hit it at least ten times. And for the achievement, the first achievement of the game, by the way, um, for getting the commemorative hat, remember this day forever, you need to hit it a total of thirty times. So, my advice for this one, then, is to always look where the uh, shadow of the ball is. Don't look at the actual ball itself, because the camera angle really can sort of put you off. So, just look at the shadow of the ball. And also, if you can, um, jump. 
So the, the, the few things that I've got, obviously, um, obviously I'll try and get a little bit of advice going here. Um, again, so always look for the shadow of the ball. Try and jump if you can and then hit it with B. And then always try and get back to the center of your square. Um, with that, he kind of, a lot of the time, just hits it kind of short and towards you. But be careful because he can hit it long and he can hit it annoyingly. He is a douchebag, okay? There's just no ways about it. But that's the only bit of advice I can give for you. This took me roughly about 10 to 15 minutes to do. Purely just to get used to where the shadow of the ball was and the movements and everything. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, it did take me a few times. But hopefully, there we go. We got 33 hits, so that'll get us the achievement. When you hit it over 20 times, you will give us some money as well. So, thank God I've done that one. That started to piss me off. But there we go. Once you finally do this one, then, it is uh, the first achievement. Also, what I'm going to be doing now is it's a little bit of a weird edit here, I'm afraid. So... Basically, the feather that the last feather that was supposed to be on the rock, um, which wasn't there, is now in the boat section. So here we are then. We're still by the beach, as you can see. So what you're going to do from where you are on the beach, just head to the left exactly where I'm going. So just head to the left until you see this wooden plank walkway, the old Orange Islands. Wow, that sounds exotic. Uh, but we're just going to head up here. So basically... In the, uh, the devs basically removed it from the rock and now put the, f the golden feather in here, which is why it stumped a lot of people. So you need to have at least 100 coins. So if you don't have 100 coins yet, do a little bit of searching around. Um, but if you do have 100 coins, uh, hopefully you should be good to go. And then what you're going to do is speak to the chilling little wiener kid. You know, I never liked that little wiener millhouse. And once he coughs, coughs, because he's bored, which of course is what all kids are, you could literally take him to Disneyland Paris and spend about a thousand billion pounds on him, and they'd be like, I'm bored. Oh, such woe being a damn kid, huh? Anyway, once you have spoken to him, we've got, uh, we can now jump into the boat. Uh, not into the water, we'll try again. Press the A button here to jump on. And then, uh, obviously, just press the A button to go. Now, it can take a little bit of getting used to. I thought it was just left and right. But, literally, wherever you want to go, if it's up or down, that's just what you've got to use on the directional stick. So, up, down, all around, wherever you want to go. Um, but, basically, what we need to do is just pray, uh, press A until we pretty much go full speed. Um, and, eventually, uh, you should be able to then... Uh, if you press the Y button to jump off and then go ahead and speak to him, he then should offer us a challenge. Uh, as long as you've gone fast enough. Oh, he's come up with a sick bird challenge. Oh, because he's so goddamn key. So once this is done then, uh, now this is, um, this is the beginning of getting the next feather, the 10th feather, and the not a scratch achievement. But what we have to do first is basically break the boat, which is fine. So what we're going to be doing then is obviously following the flags. So just go ahead and follow the flags for now. You don't have to rush and don't worry about smashing it up too much for now. Ah, oh, Jesus, my ramping kind of sucked titty balls right there, didn't it? <laughs> hmm. So, once this is done, all you need to do is just uh, continue on driving around for a second. Um, and basically, old little mouse rat thing right here will be like, Oh, no, it's not working. We need to go and get it fixed. No. Yeah. 
Yes, sir, because we all know when your parents are just angry and pissed off at you, it can be a bit annoying. But when they say, I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed, oh, that cuts deep. That cuts deeper than just being angry at us. Uh, so it was maybe an easier there to go left, um, but it really doesn't matter. All we're going to do is make, make a beeline to the left or the right. Continue on until you see a big boat with um, another rat mouse thing on it. Or is it a rabbit? Yeah, I don't know. It's a big boat anyway, and you can't really miss it. And why did I say mouse or rabbit? Of course it's a duck. It's a dog duck by the water. Ah! Ah, oh, man. Well, that, uh, yeah. Anyway. Go ahead and speak to the duck. Now, basically, this is the one where we will be getting the fishing achievement as well later on. So any rare fish and uh, other fish that we can grab, we'll give to him. He'll give us some coins. These coins will come in handy for getting the last silver feather and that achievement. So it all ties into one. Anyway, old Donald here will um, fix the boat. Of course, Donald the mouse rabbit duck, obviously. So once the challenge begins then, so to get the achievement, we have to get the not a scratch, um, or we have to complete this boating challenge in under 45 seconds, and you cannot hit any of the walls. So the course is quite short, so you do have time. Um, so again, it can be a little bit tight, but just take your time. On the straights, sort of uh, give it a good little bit of gas. Um, I the, the first couple of times I hit the wall hard, um, and obviously you added 10 seconds, so it was a bit frustrating. But just take your time with it. You really have... If you have one collision, that's fine. Um, and there is quite a little bit of uh, wiggle room. We're already coming up to the end of the course. So just got to be careful here. Be careful through this stretch. And then make a gun for it. Uh, but watch out for the rocks right there. Once that's done, you will get the 10th Golden Feather. So for you, because again, this is personally, this is the last one that I got. Uh, so I'll be on... 20 feathers. You should now get a couple of achievements here for not a scratch, for completing this in under 45 seconds, and for collecting 10 golden feathers. So, and I do apologize here, we will, we are back at the beach, so if you just want to quickly pause the video and just head back to the beach, and then we can carry on grabbing the rest of the feathers. So again, I do apologize, there was a bit of a weird edit right there, but that's because I completely mashed it up. Um, so again, apologies about that one. So, again, when we get to the beach, we'll go over the graveyard and speak to the artist. So, yeah. So, again, hopefully that you won't be all like, Oh, for God's sake, man, what the hell? Uh, but that was my fault. But I thought I'd just show you it all at once rather than doing all that and then having to find your way back. It's just, yeah, yeah. It's just, it was just easier to do it that way. But hopefully we're all caught up now and we're all good as gold. Right. So heading to the left, what we do need to do here is actually climb up this big old ass giant wall. Um, now if you can, try and do the same tactic we done earlier. Uh, as you can see, it just about doesn't work. So just do the step, couple of steps, jump, couple of steps, jump. And once you've made it, congratulations by the way, uh, open up the chest, you'll get the, what you should now be on the 11th golden feather. So you should be on number 11. Uh, obviously, the achievement for me will unlock, but uh, it should have already unlocked for you, the Feather Finder. So we'll drop straight down onto the beach to grab yet another shell. And there it is. And then from here, we'll just go up the little mound to the right. Get your shovel out. Get your shovel out for the lads. And you actually need to dig in between all these circly rocks right there. That'll give us another treasure chest. But doink. And that'll give us some more money. Right, we're going to climb up. And straight ahead is another chest. So pop that one out. That is some more money. And then if we just head to the left next to what looks like a mining piece of mining. A couple of coins there which you can grab. Otherwise we can just fly up. And then continue to fly up to find another chest right here. That is That houses some more money. And then we'll just drop 
down to the left, continue onwards to the left, and we're actually going to be grabbing the shell, which is just on its own on that little tiny island mound thing. So it should be on 10 shells as well. Uh, so fly up, sort of to the right if you, sort of something like that. Grab a, another shell right there. That should be number shell number 11. And then we will climb up. And then we're going to be grabbing another golden feather here. So up on this third sort of moundy hill, if you just continue to fly up and up and up, there is the next golden feather. You should now be on 12. Then we can just uh, fly over to the left where you can see a pale. There is an achievement again now for um, sprouting all 27 of these sprouts. So what you need to do is grab the pale bucket of water, um, use it, so press the B button. When you've got the bucket out, press the B button here on the water and then press the B button to get the sprout. That's the first one done. And then we can just fly up. It'll give us a nice bounce. So we'll fly up to the left, grab another treasure chest, and that'll be more money. Um, and then what we're going to do is we are going to use, as we grab another chest here with a couple more cash in it. So we're going to use the sprout again, and then we're going to fly off to the right. And then as soon as we get just slightly around the corner, start flying up as fast as you can. And there we go. So as long as you, you might be able to make it all the way to the top, but if not, that's fine as long as you've... Um, uh, as long as you've got it on one of the landings, you can head up and go to the right. And obviously you can see the feathers are frozen, which means the only way you can get some is if you go into the water for some reason. Um, otherwise, uh, it will not. your stamina will not increase because it's freezing here. So, uh, once you've done that with the treasure chest and you've got some more money, get the pail out, get some water, head to the left, and this is the second out of 27 we'll do. Jump up, and then we're going to fly up and up and up until you see the broken bridge. We are now heading to the left. We're going to climb up this big wall. So don't go where I went, sorry. I just uh, overshot it slightly. We're going to head up. We're basically now coming up to the peak, which is the whole point of this premise of this game. Head into the water so you can get some more feathers. And then what you're going to do is just fly straight up. So you might not be able to. In fact, you won't make it if you just do what I've done right there. Um, so, you know, don't panic your nuts about it. Uh, but what you are going to do then is fly... And then you're going to walk, step, jump, walk, step, jump, walk, step, jump. And once you get here, tis a bit of a long cut scene, but it's all worth it. Aurora Borealis, localized entirely within your kitchen. May I see it? No. And every time I see something like this, I will always go back to that big Simpsons quote there with their uh, Super Nintendo Charmers and Prince, Prince Kipple Skimster. So after that a little bit of a long cutscene there, um, now I thought this was going to smash me up in the air and have a good time, but no, it literally just sort of gently floats you up, which we've done plenty of times in video games. Uh, but we've made it to the top of the mountain, so you should get that achievement. So what we're going to do now from here, we're going to drop down from where we are. We're basically going to drop down to the right. Uh, I won't go too fast here, um, but just continue on down. We're basically going back to the tough guy because we should have... Uh, or the tough kid, whatever. So we should have over 300 coins now. So continue just dropping off down the snowy mountains. And the tough kid should be roughly around here on the left. There he is, mate. Beautiful. So we will now need to grab the next three feathers off him. Like I said, there are 100 each. So you should have, you should have more than uh, 
300. So just continue to grab all of these. This will get you up to 15 golden feathers. So we're on to 15 now. Obviously on my screen it's 14, but you should be on 15 now. Then we will just fly down to the left, and by the waterfall is another shell we're going to grab. We're just going to go ahead and grab the last five golden feathers right now. We're going to drop down, and on this tower, there's going to be a tower right here. Tower power. Girl power, flower, tower power. Interact with it. That's going to get us the next golden feather, and that'll be number 16. And then from here, we're going to grab a couple more shells. So fly basically down, and then just... To the right of the bridge, on this little bit of beachness, is the next shell. I'll be 13. We're going to be grabbing the 14th shell, so go down, and as you can see, it's right in the middle uh, between the trees and everything. So that's the 14th one we're going to do. So fly up. Going to grab another, well, another coin apparently. 69. Oh, I just ruined it by putting it up 76. Never mind. Uh, so just continue to fly up. We're going to grab another feather. It's going to be right here, just chilling on its own. Ta da! Number 17, should be number 17 for you. Fly straight up again. Oh, god damn it, it didn't make it. So just wait. And then get, oh, I just about made that. Uh, interact with this golden chest, and this is the next golden feather, and then speak to the artist. Right, so now we're going to jump down to the left. Again, a little bit of an edit because I um, got lost. But basically, we're going to head down. Just be careful. Uh, so what we need to do is just look out for the sort of pool right in the middle of the screen. But we're just going to continue to head down and fly down. There's the pool uh, next to the long bridge. So now we are going to drop down. What we're looking for then is the artist again. So as long as you were sort of going straight down, you will see the artist right here. Once he has, once you've spoken to him, he's going to give us the 19th golden feather, which is nice. Thanks, Bibs. Love you. Right, now we're going to get the bucket of pale bucket back out. Drop down, press the B button to get some water in. And then this is the third, this will be the third sprout then, out of 27, so get that up. And then we're going to make a bomb for it. And then we're going to glide ever so gently, continuing on to the right, past the Budweiser frog with his sandcastles. And just in front of us, you can see glimmering in the distance right there is the 15th and final shell. So there we go. Once you've grabbed that one, continue up the beach ever so slightly, and you can see this duck bird thing. Maybe it's our sitter. Uh, but anyway, speak to her, and after a while, she after we give her the 15 shells, she's going to give us a necklace of some sort. Side gig's a side gig, bro. It's all mono. Right, once we've got that then, flap your wings. I'm just grabbing a cheeky little coin here. Oof, one cent, beautiful. Head to the right, and uh, basically we're gonna be back at our starting home and where the ranger is. Ranger me, ranger Captain Slow. Speak to Captain Slow and this will be the 20th and final golden feather, but remember we need another 400 coins to get the second and last silver feather in order to get that achievement, but we've got the majority of those done, so that's all good. Once you've done, uh, once you've done speaking to Ranger Captain Slow, interact with your house, go to sleep, and you will get the end achievement for taking the people's favorite, a nice long nap.
And then once we get back here, the achievement will unlock and then we can press continue. And now we will go for the rest of the sprouts and see if we can pick up a few more miscellaneous achievements on the way as well. So I guess there's nothing left to do except, well, let's do it. Uh, we're going to get one achievement here, plus the next sprout, so whip out your bucket, press the B button in the water, of course, and press the B button on the fire. Now, this is the, uh, only you can prevent campfires, you meaning you, which equals me, which is wrong. But you can just put out the same campfire four times and get that achievement, which is nice. The sprout, by the way, is just to the right of Auntie Captain May's house. Boing! There we go. Uh, but all we're going to do just for the uh, few seconds, we'll wait for the fire to just relight the fire. Yeah, the bird is my only desire. Uh, anyway, I'll stop now. Do it four times and the achievement will unlock. There it is, ready for the boom! Ready for the ray? Putting! You know what, normal achievement, uh, normal achievement sounds don't even, they, they, they just suck now compared to the diamond rare ones, don't they? Anyway, we're gonna grab some water, head past me, jump over the little gap, and then we, now you can't actually jump or fly or anything, but you can still glide, which is all cool. And the next sprout then is just past the bridge right there. So that will be the next one complete. Go ahead and grab some water, uh, more water. Remember, we've already done three on our travels. So, um, obviously, I've put them in the timestamps in case you're wondering, just in case you've ever missed one. Uh, so, we'll drop down onto the beach here. We've already got our bucket of water. And just as we follow the trail up, it's going to be just by the trees on the right-hand side. So, there be the next one. So, you can just drop down, nip back, grab some water. I don't know if this is clean, like when you go on every holiday destination, or if it's brown murky water, like uh, the, the incredible British beaches. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. It's like fish crap. Anyway, uh, go past the fox right there, and we are going to go past the steps, drop down once, and by this little pond is the next sprout. Now, drop down again, and now this is when we have... Not already done, actually, so don't worry. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to just fly down, drop down. Oh, I'm just going to grab this treasure chest here. Always be on the lookout for money as well, because, of course, we still need 400 coins in order to get the last silver feather. So just be careful. Any coins you see in any treasure chests you see, grab them. This one we have already done, so um, I do apologize. I forgot about this one, but we already done this one earlier on. Um, <laughs> so we can actually just press the B button to get rid of the water. Uh, bump up off the flower, bump up, whatever that means, and fly, my pretties, fly! And that fox, by the way, uh, you can talk to him now uh, for an achievement later on, but you don't actually have to. He'll still be up on the peak mountain anyway. So grab some water out of the well, of the river, and then continue on through the trees to the right. And uh, head up the trail, and then what we're going to do, we're going to take a right now. Just in the trees right here. And there's the next sprout. Lovely. Sprouting up them floors. Right from here then, we go on to continue sort of onwards and upwards. All the way. And this is actually where we're going to get our fishing rod as well. So in this big sort of river with a sunbathing frog and everything, there's a shell and there's someone fishing. So what we'll do is get grab the water, put the sprout up here on the left. And then, while we're here, we might as well grab the fishing rod. Now, of course, we've got the achievement coming up. Here. Uh, we basically have to trade all the fish that we can. Um, and, but obviously, I will just get the fishing rod here, just so it's, you know, since we're here, it's all good. Um, but obviously, it'll tell you what to do and how to fish. 
So basically, you just pop the B button, you press the B button, that'll put the cast in. You can get some bait as well to make it easier for the fish to nibble. But when you do get a nibble, hold uh, back on the directional stick, whether that's um, down or right, whichever way it is towards you, uh, which I assume will be right, and then keep tapping the B button, and that is how you will get your fish. Now, I'm not actually sure if every fish is random. I managed to get an albino common carp, which uh, the albino one, when you trade them in, uh, they get you a lot more money. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's particularly random, but uh, I guess we'll soon see when you all play it. But once that one is done anyway, we've got a fish and rod, we've got our first fish. You don't actually need any more shells, so don't worry about that. But for now, we will continue heading past uh, down and sort of past the bathing frog. Uh, give yourself a little fly up, a little chirpy chirp. And then sort of continue sort of down on yourself, as it were, past the bridge. It's kind of hard to explain whether you're going left or right because the camera angle changes like a bit of a dink. Uh, but basically all we're doing is coming over to this waterfall right here. Uh, so get some water out of the waterfall. The sprout is going to be right there. And just as a little sort of sign-in or whatever, if you are looking for the tough kid who sold us four golden feathers, where this waterfall is right now, if you just continue heading literally straight up in the air, you will see him. Uh, but that's the first sprout. Get some water and jump up. And then, like I said, here is the next sprout. And we'll be doing the same thing. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see the tough kid, he's literally right above us. So just fly up if you need it. If you need a little bit of direction, jump up on the flower to the left. And here is the next sprout. So that's three in quick succession. We'll take that like a, like a, like a thing that takes that. Uh, yep, so like I said, there we go. So just continue straight up from that waterfall. So if you ever need to find him, there he is. Like I said, f just find that waterfall, fly straight up, and you'll be able to see him. Uh, head to, uh, left past the tough kid, grab the next bit of water, and the sprout is right next to the waterfall. Boy, oi, oi, oi. I need to stop boinging. No more boinging. And again, of course, if you see any coins and any money and any dig holes, Dig spots, we will, uh, yeah, we're going to smash up to have monos as well. So we'll grab some more water and we'll drop down to the left. Uh, sort of right next to this abandoned building looking thing is the next sprout. Just right next to the box. Then we're going to fly, my pretties. Fly! Up again. Uh, we're going to grab some water. Oh, just made it like a boss. Like king. Like king, Burger King. Uh, anyway, <laughs> once you grab the Burger King water, go down past the abandoned building, and you have to be careful here, it is on one of these ledges. So if you can, just give yourself a little glide down. It's right on this middle ledge right here, so that'll be the next sprout. Uh, we're actually going to be continuing going down, so um, yep, that'll do. So head straight down, you can see another bit of water, another body of water. Pick it up, this next sprout is right in front of us, literally just dropping down from where we got the last sprout. Then we will go to the left, flight to the left. There's some money on a table if you want to grab that. Who is leaving their money behind, please? Oh, if only it was that easy, huh? Uh, so once you've robbed people's money, we can continue on to the left. And we're actually going to be seeing the beach stick ball. You know, that one goddamn annoying achievement from earlier? Yes. So anyway, just up from there, grab some water. And there's the sprout just up from there. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bit of... Not grave digging, but uh, just a bit of money digging. Man, I wish it was this easy. Look at that. There you go. 50 bucks in your pocket just by doing a bit of digging. Ugh. Anyway, uh, continue on up uh, onto the graveyard. And I know this just reminds me, uh, reminds us of Lavender Town from Pokemon. Extremely creepy the first time we played that, wasn't it? Right, anyway, we're heading to the uh, where we got the boating challenge earlier on. So grab some water just at the top of the bridge or the beginning of the bridge. Uh, actually grab some if you can, and then there's this, there's the next sprout. Then what we're going to do, we're going to grab some more water here and just go for a little walk, a little walk along the bay, a little romantic walk by yourself, and Pam and her five friends. 
equals your hands. Um, just a, a little romantic walk. Just by the rental bay, head down and left. Past the campfire, over the next bridge. And the next sprout is going to be immediately in front of us. And we're going to be coming up to another one quickly, very quickly. Grab some water, head over to the next bridge. And just off to the left. Here we are. Ta-da! There's the next one. Right, from here then. This is effectively now. We've only got three more actually left to do. Um, like not three more. We got a cup. We got a three more in the Hawk Peak area, and then we're going to get the rest on top of the mountain. So you can grab some more. Well, it's not money. It's all treasure maps, which hopefully we can just sell, which would be nice. So if it's needed, grab that one. Um, otherwise, what we are going to do now is actually go back to the tough kid. So remember, I, um, I kind of do end up taking a, a bit of a long way. Now remember, the tough kid is going to be quite close to the peak top of the mountain, if you remember. Um, so there's, there is going to be a little bit of an edit because I spent about 20 minutes trying to find him until I realized that, oh yeah, he's quite high up on the mountains, which was a pain in the bumder snatch right there, wasn't it? Um, but I've just gone up this way just to grab a couple of coins and everything. But again, remember what I said about that waterfall earlier? Um, that should be easy enough to spot because it's quite close to the, to the ranger and... Uh, sort of where we got the fishing rod and stuff. So if you just find that one waterfall, which is sort of on the left-hand side of the map, um, then we will be... Remember, he is straight up then. Um, so, yeah, I do apologize about this next part. It's, it, it literally is pretty much, I'd say, the only problem with the game is, is that there is no um, map. Unless, of course, I could have just uh, checked my treasure map. But still, um, there's no... There's nothing. You're just sort of having to try and find stuff yourself, which can be a little bit of a pain uh, now and again. In fact, it's happened to me about two or three times, in all fairness, uh, <laughs> throughout the game. So I've just basically, what I've done is just done a whole sort of spin around the mountain. And we will be coming up to that waterfall ever so shortly. Even here now, if you can, just, just fly straight up and then you should be on the uh, almost the same path. Um, effectively, well, not quite there yet. Um, so, in fact, yeah, we are there. So, there's the waterfall. As I said, that waterfall we were at earlier, if you just fly straight up, that's, this is where the tough kid is, and then we can just head to the right. So, again, I do apologize about that. That was a bit of a pretty stinky part of the video. But, you know, I, I hope you still love me, and, uh, you know, love me! Anyway, we're back to where we got the very first sprout, remember, from earlier on. So what we'll do, we'll grab some water, we'll just head down, excuse me tree, get the hell out of my way, and right on this sort of uh, mound right here, just by where the golden feather was, that is where the next sprout is. We're going to jump up, and then we're going to fly to the left to grab some more water. And this time, we're going to fly off and jump off the very edge, there we go, and right on top, well... I did actually miss it, but there it is. Right there is the next sprout. And then from here then, uh, we will be grabbing... I believe this is going to be the last one now um, in Hawk Peak. And then we'll go up to the Hawk Mountains. By the way, I only just figured out that if you just press the A button... Um, without using the directional stick, you can fly down really fast. Which I didn't realise you could do until very later on. That's silly of me. Um, so, just by this radio tower here, this is where we are going to be at... Just by this sort of um, air pocket volcano looking thing. There's the next sprout then. Just off to the left of the radio tower. And there's going to be another one in quick succession as well. Let's grab some water. Jump up. And there's the next sprout. So now we do have only three left to grab. We can grab the treasure chest while we're here as well. Always could do with some Kayash. Uh, so what we're actually going to be doing now is flying all the way up. Um, so if you fly up and then sort of continue going to the left... As it were, we're actually just going to go and find the Tough Kid once again. Right. 
Right then, mate, let's go and get the last couple and another miscellaneous achievement. So, what we're going to do is start to get a bit uh, freezy on the old beak bags right here. Uh, again, go into the water if you ever need some feathers for your beaky bags. But we're just going to continue following the trail. Go past the old, uh, the old snow bro right there. Continue up and you're going to see a path that splits. This one right here. We're going to go to the right. We are going to uh, get our feathers up and we're going to get a bucket of water. Now, you have to be careful with this jump. Uh, not so careful, but I fell off about four or five times and it started to get quite annoying. So from here, we're going to take a left right now. And you have to sort of position yourself as close as you can to the sort of edge and then jump up and then hopefully you should have just enough willpower to climb up because this is where the next sprout is. Then we can just jump straight up. Now, apparently we can do it twice. Go up to the water, grab some more, of course, and then pop it down. If you can, try not to be as silly as me right there. Actually try to get it on the plant, which would just be fantastic. Oh. Doink. There we go. And then we do have just one left to grab. So what we're going to do from here, um, for some reason I decided to fly up. Uh, we're just going to drop straight down. <laughs> we are going to drop from that last sprout, drop straight down. We're back at the split path, so we can just head to the left. Jump over this little rock. And continue on. Just keep on following the path. And then what we're going to see is another little embodiment of water. We're going to climb up. There's the water. So, you know, give yourself a little... Oh, that's nice. It does actually look banging that nice and warm. In a, but then you get even colder when you get out then. So you just freeze to death more. Anyway, grab the water. Go to the right. Jump across to this little gap. And this is going to be the final sprout of the game. So hopefully you would have got that one. If not, um, and you're still missing one or two, obviously just have a look at the timestamps below. And uh, just uh, figure out which one that you're missing. So what we're going to do is get the photo friends achievement from here while we are here. So we'll just go forward or basically straight ahead past the next saunery bit. Uh, just continue to fly um, sort of around them. Well, well, we'll get some feathery yum yums first. And then what we'll do is just head up and up and up. On to the next flower. So we're basically at the top where we got the 26th flower and then just fly over to the right. And that is where the fox is. So it can be kind of tricky to find because it is a bit of a bit of a big enough area. Um, but again, this is the fox that you could have spoken to first, but you actually don't need to as long as you've got more. Now, he has for six flowers, but even if you've got like 10 or 11, he doesn't take it because um, he feels rude. So you actually need at least 13. So when you've given him the six, basically all you're going to be doing is just following him up. And obviously we can get there because we are, we are Queen Claire, bro. We am the Queen. Uh, but yeah, just follow him until you get to the top. And that will unlock the Photos Friend achievement. And then all we've got left to do is eat some toast, which of course we will do a little bit of time manipulation with. Beat each parkour race once, which is, there's only three of them. Find every feather. We obviously only need one more silver feather. And trade every species of fish. So... We're going to do the Parkour Master next, and then we're going to go for the Fishing Wound. So I guess there's nothing left to do except beat it, beat it, fly down, fly down. Let us go and do some racing. Now the first one we are going to go for, uh, we're going to be ending up going to the visitor center. Now you're going to see a lot of edits and cuts purely. This is because I genuinely kept forgetting where the bloody visitor center was. So I was flying around like an absolute loony bin for about 15 minutes. So yeah, so obviously I'll just tell you where to be going. Anyway, so obviously the first type, the first race we're going to be doing then is at the visitor center, or just uh, just a little bit beyond the visitor center. Now, um, obviously you're in a race, but she only gives you a certain amount of feathers because you know she sucks balls at racing. Um, you can get the running shoes if you want, but they're really not necessary if you don't need them. 
Um, so yeah, we're going for nine feathers. So obviously, if you've already got twenty and you've been going a bit nuts, you well, it's time to dial in the nuts a bit. Stop doing things with nuts. Just stop the nuts a minute. Right. So what we're going to do then? We're going to uh, fly up a couple of times, just up onto the right hand side. Obviously, this bird's only going to sort of run, which is fine. Uh, so head up to the right and then climb your way up. Wait until you get the nine back and start flying up again. Again, just wait until you get the nine back and then you can get up onto this perch. Wait until they're back and then fly. And you'll have to do a bit of walking and flying because you might not make it. I didn't the first time. Uh, continue up the path and up and up. And uh, make sure to fly up, of course. And if you can, just fly as much as you can. Uh, continue heading up. There's the tough cure. So just make sure to obviously get up and then all we're doing for now is just following the uh, red trail path up, get some feathers of course, uh, and then continue on your merry birdie little way. Basically we're just racing to this the peak summit where we just took a photo with Foxy McFoxface. So just continuing up, again if you need some more feathers give yourself a little dick and up, duck, duck and duck, duck, dick, duck, hmm. Once we get to this bit, make sure to be turning left here when the camera pans around. Turn left, jump over the bridge. Uh, give yourself a little bouncy bounce on the flower. And then make sure you got your feathers back. And then of course, just be careful here. So give yourself a little fly and then walk, fly and climb. And then you will have to wait until uh, the other bird, I forget its name, pops up. Avery. Patrick Avery Stewart. Uh, but once she is here, we, uh, well, that's the first race done. So, if you want to do a rematch or anything, you are more than welcome to, but, uh, nah, that's right. That's all right, mate. Right, so we're going to jump down. So, we're actually going to find her now at the non-graveyard. No, it's not the graveyard. Uh, we're going to find her on the sort of, again, it's kind of tricky to explain, but she's sort of on the left-hand side of the map, quite close to the waterfall. Uh, so, if you've dropped down here, um, I'm going to be showing you sort of where to go anyway. So here we are then, this is Meteor Lake, obviously, it's, uh, it should look pretty familiar by now. So get to Meteor Lake, continue on heading to the left. Again, just because there's so many peaks, um, it can be very, it can be tricky to sort of tell where the hell you're at sometimes. Uh, but just continue on to the left. Here is the waterfall that we buy. Uh, didn't mean to drop down, but uh, actually it turns out it was, uh, nah. Uh, so just continue on left, drop down once. I believe she's going to be around here somewhere. Choop, choop. There we go. Now we're by the pond there with the lilies. So continue on to the left. It, it, again, it can be, that's the only... I gotta I got say, this is probably the only gripe with the game that I've actually got, is the fact that there's just no, like, map to help you know where the hell you're going. Um, which, probably why it takes a couple of hours. But there we go then, so just, this, so there she is, finally. She can be kind of hard to, to find and see, but once you have found her here on the left, we are going for the race. Now, these next two races are considerably shorter. Um, as you can see, we've only got three of the Golden Feathers. I'm going to race anyway, because I know how to use my wings. You're a bird, mate. Use your wings, or don't. Right, so we'll just flap up a couple of times. We'll flap up again. And then make sure to get your gold feathers back. Climb up. We almost messed that one up, really. Uh, continue on to the right. And then what we'll do is go up. And then we'll fly up again. Fly straight across. We're just going for the lighthouse, by the way, so straight across again. And again, just continue straight on. And then the uh, lighthouse is to the right. And once you've got there, that's another win for ye! So 
So the last race that we're going to go for then is by the graveyard. Now, if you can remember where it is, that's great. Uh, but if you can't, remember where we've done the beach stickball game with the absolute not pain in the ass anything, the 30 hits achievement to get the commemorative hat, where we had to basically play, play volleyball with a beach stick. Yes, it's just round there, so... Um, obviously, it's it'll just be a little bit easier if you just sort of follow the island around on the beach, and then eventually you will get there. So again, I'm not editing this part out either, um, purely because... <laughs> Some of the places can be an absolute butterball beanbag to find. So, um, yeah, that's why I've just kept these bits in. And obviously, if you see any coins or any treasure chests, always make sure to go for that, because you're a pirate of birdness. Hmm, I could, 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 could go for some bird's eye fish fingers right now. Right, so here's the beach stick ball bras, and then we'll just hop it up to the left. There is the old graven yard. So if you just continue on left for a little bit, and then up uh, one of the sort of mounds or the rocks, there is the third one, and that'll be done. Right, okay, so what we're doing is effectively, uh, we're going to finish at the old abandoned buildings. We're effectively just heading, more or less, to the right uh, for a lot of it. So, yeah, continue heading on to the right. Obviously, give yourself a little golden feather boost up if you need it. And then, what we're actually going to be aiming for, then, is if we start heading slightly up. See the sort of rock just next to the waterfall? We're going to need to be heading up there. There we go, so we've just made that. Get yourself some feathers back, continue upwards. And just to the right, hop on up. And there we go. So that is going to get us the parkour master achievement. And now it's on to the, let's face it, absolute pain in the ass in any game, fishing. Why, why, why does every game? Assassin's Creed Valhalla, never even bothered with that. Personally, hate fishing game, uh, hate fishing mini games in games. Just, just strip, just pointless. Anyway, so there we go. That's the um, parkour ones done. Now, a uh, few little explanations that I'm going to be doing. So, first of all, what I'm going to do is put a, in the, the um, description box, I'm going to be putting a website down where this has, this is the one, um, so I will put this in the description box. Basically, if you go onto this, it's going to have a list of every single fish that you can find. And if you have a look in the fish journal, basically, we're going to get a fish journal from the old captain off the boat. Um... If you press A on any fish, whether you've caught it or not, it'll tell you, it gives you a little hint of where to find it. So if you go onto this website, it'll tell you exactly the quote and exactly the fish and exactly where to find it. So this definitely helped me, especially for the last couple. Um, but yeah, so a couple of things then that we, that I should really, I uh, should really say. So We've obviously got the fishing rod. If you haven't got the fishing rod yet, it is in Meteor Lake by the um, guy just having a little fish. Obviously, equip it, press the B button. As soon as the bait with the bobber thing goes under the water, then you can keep tapping the B button and bring it towards you. That's how you catch a fish. There's going to be certain locations um, where certain fish spawn. Plus, not only are they just little bits of fish, 
you've got quite uh, quite a few fish as well in terms of um, the, whether they're tiny, they're big, they're gold, they're albino, which is super rare. Obviously, what we're going to be, need to be doing then is selling the said fish to the captain. So obviously, if you can get rare albino ones, and obviously the bigger, the better, um, then you will obviously get uh, more money, which of course, remember, we need at least 400 coins in order to get the final silver feather. Now, I was just at the captain. Basically, in order to get the boat, or in order to get the book, we have to give him, we have to trade in three fish first. Um, so here we are then at Meteor Lake. Now, the fish here at Meteor Lake you can catch are the common carp, the northern pike. Uh, it, it can be a rare one, but you can get the rainbow trout here as well if you need it, and the yellow perch. So all four of these are needed. Um, so also, in terms of getting money off the captain, he'll only give you money for each for each new fish that you find once. If you give him duplicates, he will give you bait. What bait does is um, bait just basically helps you catch the fish faster, um, which comes in handy. So there's the first one anyway of Meteor Lake then. This is the Northern Pike. Uh, I'm still in Meteor Lake. I'm just a little bit further down. Uh, we are now going to be grabbing the, or I, me personally, going to be grabbing the Yellow Perch. Oh, excuse me. Now, in terms of the Captain's Journal as well, um... It can be random for everyone in every playthrough. So there's a fish called the actually rainbow trout fish. Sometimes it's needed, other times it's not. It's literally just a case of, yeah, it, it, sadly it can be kind of randomized. But what I've done in the timestamps is put um, wherever the location is and what fish that you can expect to find there. But remember, if you can try and catch the... Um, if you can, as I said, try and catch the albino one as well, or albino, whatever, what, whatever one, it, what, uh, whichever one it is. The big and small one doesn't matter as long as you catch like the different variants. I believe it's kind of it's kind of uh, tricky to tell with this one, uh, but anyway, that's where again, that's where you can get the yellow perch from. So now we are sort of effectively on in the ocean around Hawk Peak, sort of any ocean anywhere. Um. Now, what you're going to see, you can see darker blue bits and you can see lighter blue bits. So some fish are only in the lighter blue bits and other fish, probably the rarer ones, are in the darker blue bits. So uh, with the ocean here around the Hawk Peak, you can expect to find the brook trout, the sp spotted brook trout, and again, the rainbow trout. Now, for me, um, I was actually missing one... Um, blah, 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 there we go, brook trout. So for the last one for me, I was actually missing the spotted brook trout, which I don't get till later on. Um, but again, if you can, try and keep on going until you have got the spotted brook trout as well, so it doesn't mash you up later. Right, so once we've got enough fish here, as you can see, we've got a couple of northern pikes, we've got a, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, now, obviously, when you are selling it to the captain, make sure to have a look. If you've got an albino one, sell him the albino one first, he'll give you a lot more money. And obviously, the bigger the more money he will give you, so make sure to do that, otherwise he'll just give you some bait. Um, so you can just smash through all the duplicates of what you've got. Now, bait also is not entirely necessary. As I said, it just helps you catch the fish a little bit uh, quicker. Um, now, because also we've been getting coins and treasure chests as we've been flying around, hopefully you have as well, we should have way more than enough in order to get the silver feather a little bit later. So. Remember, if uh, wherever you are, make sure you can get the brook trout and the spotted brook trout. They they count as two separate fish. That's what mashed me up, and that's what took me a day and an age to finish this one. Right. So once we've done that, then um, I, apparently I'm going to be taking a little look at the fish journal now that we've got, since we've got three. So as you can see, I've already caught five. Now another thing I should say is, um, I I think I ended up with nineteen. And there was still one that was blanked out, which I hadn't caught. That doesn't matter. If one is still blanked out for you, it doesn't matter. Um, so a little bit later on, when we get to about 50, if you count and you get to about 15 or 16 bits of fish, it's always worth coming back to the captain just to see if the achievement will unlock. Like I said, I think I caught about 19 or 20 different fish, including albino ones, etc., um, and that is what the achievement, uh, that's when the achievement unlocked for me. Yes, it's it's not, it's not very clear, and it was kind of a pain in the fish ass. 
Um, so just grabbing a couple of common parks, uh, common carps, sorry. So next up then we're gonna go to the small pond with the lilies. Now this one is quite close to the visitor center. Now when you do get here, you can expect to find a pumpkin seed fish and a crayfish. So just keep on fishing until you get two of these in here with the ponds. Again, the pond, small pond with the lily. Hello little pumpkin seed fish, I want to eat you. Because I'm a chunky boy and I'll eat anything twice. Almost, except for Brussels sprouts and asparagus and stuff. That makes you piss sting. And I ain't, and stink. And I ain't all up for that. Now, as you can see then, that's just another record I've got there. Look at, I'm a fishing pro, mate. Apparently I'm trying to catch flowers as well now. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, with any sort of small pond, the small pond with the graveyard can also count as well to get a pumpkin seed fish if you need it. But this one has the crayfish and the pumpkin seed fish, so that's all good. Uh, so next up then, once you've got those two, and again, see if you can get an albino one as well, just for a little bit more money if needed. But the next thing we're going to go to is basically like a fast flowing um, river. So effectively, effectively a waterfall. Uh, but you can't be doing it. Oh, there we go then. Look, look at that. A nice chunky boy. Thank you. So yeah, you will see, uh, see a lot of these rivers, these lots of fast flowing rivers. There's quite a few fish you can catch in here, including a golden catfish. For me, the golden catfish didn't count towards the achievement. So if you, again, if you can get it, that's great. If not, don't panic unless you might actually need it. But in these rivers, you can expect to find the burbot or burbo. No, is it burbot or burbo? I'm still in the same area. I just went to the right a little bit more um, because now, like I said, in here, you can expect to find the catfish as well. So you can expect to find a burbot, the catfish, potentially a gold catfish as well, um, and the salmon. So you can expect to find salmon in these parts of the, the rivers. Um, if you don't end up catching, you know, a particular fish here, just go downstream a little bit more or upstream or anything like that. Um, if you're just catching one particular fish, it's always worth, um, as I said, uh, just going up a little bit, down a little bit more, uh, even... You can even fish by the waterfall as well, and you can get some. So there you go. Anything with albino in it will get you 60 coins. So we only need 20 more, plus we've got a hell of a lot more to go. Also, I know, of course, the video is only an hour and 25 minutes long, but because of the volleyball beach stickball bit and this whole fishing nonsense, um, that's why the game can probably take a little more to sort of three to four hours. And plus, if you're as silly as me, you'll have a lot of fun trying to find the visitor center over and over again, and you'll waste t precious minutes trying to find stuff when it's right in front of you. That's probably just my eyes, because they suck it. So once again, once we uh, have just got all this, and we're gonna s just smash through all of the rest of the fish now, um, where we're gonna go now is, Effectively to the southern bay now. This is actually quite close to where we start So if you head to the left, you will see where we started in the house with captain slow and This will this should seem familiar to you. This is where we came pretty much at the very start of the game Probably come here a lot of times, but this is the only place that you can catch the blue gill Not a red gill not a green gill not a yellow gill not a shale gill, but the uh, very very old blue gill So this is the only place you can catch him. So that'll be another fish done now, if you just fly directly up from where we were, this is the river just by the lighthouse. What you can expect to find here is, again, a couple of burbots, salmon and stuff like that. But what we need from here specifically is the white perch. And there the white perch is. Hello, Mr. White Perch. No. Right. And pretty much finally then, what we're doing then is now heading up to the frozen heights section. In any small pond, you can find two fish up here. The white bass and the pink white bass, because, you know, white bass loves bass to mouth. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. That is genuinely a South Park joke. Um, but these are the two fish you can expect to find up here. Now, again, I didn't actually end up catching the pink white bass, and I still got the achievement. So that's what I mean when it in terms of the variations. Um, again, you can have a count. I think I've got about sort of... 16, 17, something like that now. Again, the only one for the achievement that I was personally missing now was the spotted brook trout. Oh, and the rainbow trout. Actually, I don't think I caught one just yet. 
but this is what I mean. This, um, with the website that I showed you earlier on, hopefully you've clicked on that. Any time that you are stuck on something, it'll actually, again, it'll tell you which fish, which quote, and which fish that you can expect to find. Uh, so it was actually, for me, the two that I was expecting, or the, the two left that I needed, was the spotted brook trout and the rainbow fish. Um, so this is me in the sort of rainy area on the beach. So again, if you can't sort of find this, again, just fly around the island. And this is actually where I ended up catching the rainbow trout. Finally, you son of a monkey ball. I finally managed to grab this one. Eventually. Um, but yeah, luckily, um, so as I said, the, the final two for me personally were the rainbow trout, as I said, the spotted brook trout. I don't think, I don't think the, it's going to sort of randomize for you too much, but there may be a fish that if, uh, if you don't get the achievement now, obviously like I do, um, there may just be one which you need, which I didn't, and potentially even vice versa. So, yeah, yeah, pain, pain, but, you know, you'll get there eventually. So, smash through all of the fish, uh, get the achievement, and then we will have um, two more achievements left to get, and we can get them effectively pretty quickly. Thank you. Uh -oh. Right, so let us go and get that final silver feather. Now, again, I'm going to be showing you where to go this time. Basically, we just have to go and talk to the uh, the angry kid once again. So if we just uh, fly up here and then fly again, just to the left, you can pretty much see him. And we're going to have a little chat. Basically, just keep spamming the A button and he's like, only 400 bucks, mate. And then Chris is so nice, we're going to give him 400 Personally, in real life, I wouldn't be that generous, but, uh, you know, you can have 40 pence, 400 pence, not 400 pound.
So once we've given him the 400 buckaroos or the Santorinis, he'll give us the wristwatch. Now there is a bit of an edit here again because for some reason, Dopey Dingbat right here could not find the visitor center again. It's literally right pretty much effectively in the middle of the map and somehow I get I got lost every time I was trying to find it. Um, so yes. So when we do eventually make it to the visitor center, go slightly to the right and you can see this goat. And all you got to do is literally just spam through all the dialogue. He will give us the silver feather and that will be the last one. Feathers forever. I know there was a lot of people who collected all the 20 gold feathers and got confused when the achievement didn't unlock. As I said, of course, the silver feathers are needed. And we can climb faster and climb higher, which is pretty pointless now because we're going to get one more achievement and then we're done with the game. And this one is the crispy achievement. Now, this one is a time specific one. You have to basically speak to the uh, visitor goat here at precisely 5 p.m. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, that's a pain in the ass. But what we can do here is actually just go down to settings. You don't even have to go offline for this one. So we'll go down to system. So go to your settings, go to system, go to time. Now, obviously, it depends on the time where you need it for me. Right in the UK, as I was playing this, it was 10 to 12. So I needed to either, I need, I basically uh, backtracked by seven hours in order to get it to about 10 to five. Obviously, whatever you're doing, wherever you're playing, it's going to be different for you. So just make sure that you are as close to five o'clock as you possibly can. Um, so there you go. So I've managed to ch change the time. It's now 10 to, 10 to five, apparently, according to that. The only problem is, uh, I did uh, completely quit out of the game and go back in, just as a sort of formality, just in case. And I kept checking the time as well to make sure that it was all good in the hood. Um, but yes, that's pretty much it then. Now, I did try and speak to him before, and nothing, it, it wouldn't happen. So, yeah, it's literally, it literally had to be at 5pm. So, what you have to do is actually, before interacting with the goat, Interact with the sign there so that it tells you about um, all the strawberries and jam stuff. A lot of people have said you, um, it hasn't worked if you've just spoken to the goat. Um, yep. So when it does eventually get to 5 o'clock, again, as I said, there you go. It's 5 o'clock now. And I'm not sure if it gives you a little bit of leeway, like 10 minutes after, perhaps. So speak with the sign. Interact interact with the sign. Then speak with the goat. That's false advertising. No one else is false advertising. A lot of people's... Uh, no, I'm not even going to go there. I can't be asked for the arguments. Um, so there we go. We've got the toast. So we're going to just go into the infantry now. And we're going to eat that piece of toast. Okay, I'll just say it. Some people's only fans are a little, you know, where they go, I promise you the world, and it's just a bra pick. You can't get horny over bras anymore. It's got to be nudes or nothing. Anyway... Once you have eaten the toast, the achievement should finally unlock. Sorry, just for that crude little brass part there. And that will finally, finally be 12 out of 12. All achievements done. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the game. It was a really nice little game. I uh, hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members and everyone who interacts with me on the daily as well. Thank you so much again. And I shall see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big chunky love nuts.